Even after an 11-week-long civil trial, the legal troubles of Father Rudy Koss may be just beginning. He is, of course, the former Catholic priest accused of sexually molesting nearly a dozen boys. Linda Huang joins us now to tell us what lies ahead for him. Linda? Rudy Koss has been out on $10,000 bonds since last May on two criminal charges, one on indecency with a child and another on sexual assault of a child. He's already set for pretrial on those charges. However, this week, Koss may find there are additional criminal charges coming his way. I think that the trouble for Mr. Koss really is just beginning. In the civil case, he was held personally responsible, and that was only because he failed to show up at court. He has many criminal steps in front of him. Add possibly 10 more criminal charges from the remaining alleged victims from the civil trial. Both plaintiff's attorneys are now in the process of filing more affidavits for prosecution with the district attorney's office. Rudy Koss has retained defense attorney Brad Lawler to represent him in his criminal trial. Even with a good attorney, I think it's going to be a very difficult case for the defense to win. When you look at the victims uh, and you look at how credible they are and they appear, their perception, the perception is they're such nice boys. Why would all these boys come and lie and make this up just to get this one individual? Plaintiff's attorneys say after initial charges were filed in 1992, Cossett confessed to abusing at least 20 boys during an interview with diocese leaders. And so the $120 million civil judgment already awarded may be just the beginning. There may be more boys that may come forward civilly, that may file both civil and criminal charges against Mr. Koss. Koss has been living in California and trying to find work under a new name. The Lembergers, who claim their son committed suicide after years of sexual abuse by Koss, say they believe Koss will flee to avoid going to prison. I think he said that if he got convicted and put in jail, he'd be afraid he'd be killed, you know, because he is a child abuser. And, and even... The Child Exploitation Division with the Dallas Police Department say they've been keeping track of Koss and his whereabouts in California. He has not been ordered back to Dallas because for now, he is not considered a flight risk. Pre-trial is set for September. The DA's office says Koss's criminal trial will most likely get started late this year or early 1998. Live in the Dallas newsroom, Linda Huang, Fox 4 News.